Good afternoon, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from really wet Batrun, Lebanon, a beautiful beach town located about a one hour drive north of Beirut. Today, I'm going to take you to eat lots of delicious food. We're going to hit up the Lemonade Museum and we're going to see some of the historical sites. Nico, how are you doing? Hey, we're starting from this yellow, beautiful house, the Helmi's Lemonade. It's a lemonade museum. It's one of the oldest lemonade maker and uh, it's special in Batroun. You need to come here and try the lemonade. And this guy's right here. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> you, hey, you're harassing me. <laughs> Messing with you. <laughs> All right, so we go inside the other way? Yeah. All right, let's go inside. So this is the world's most iconic lemonade place, right? It's the yeah. only lemonade museum in the world. Yes. Wow, incredible. So, I mean, this is it, basically. This is the museum. Then the rest of it is, you know, a gift shop and where you can try the lemonade. Very nice. And when was this? When did they start this? 1888. 1888? Yep. Helmis. And it's three girls, right? Story goes, in 1888, the Helmi family were the first people to start basically selling lemonade in Batrun. 1888 was their first shop. Then over here we have Chess Helmi. So he started in 1962. He founded the Helmi brand. And then this museum was founded by the three granddaughters. So the three sisters, Rana, Farah, and Noor. So they opened this museum and the shop. Yeah. You know what, let's go try some. My friends, we're gonna have some lemonade. Okay. Yes? yes. All right. Like they have mint lemonade, strawberry lemonade. They have some banana strawberry lemonade. No way, banana too? Yeah, and they also have lemonade with alcohol, like tequila. <laughs> wow, so they mix it. So I'm trying the original. Helmis, Helmis lemonade. And it's more like a slushy, right? Oh, nice. A little sour, super cold. Obviously lots of ice. Mmm, this is very nice. So this is half frozen, half juice. It's pretty good. And if you want to, you can also get mint, red moon, Lebanese floor, on fire, on fire has tequila. On fire. I'm good with on fire. I put arak, arak. I'm messing with you guys. Mmm, this is my favorite lemonades ever. It is amazing. So the price is 30,000, so like $1.5 dollars. My friend, merci. You're welcome. Oh yeah, we're very lucky. It stopped raining. It's clearing up. Hopefully it stays like this. Nice stone buildings. So these are all old houses. Beautiful stone buildings. Like medieval architecture, right? Yeah, these are really old. Uh, the stones that were used to build this old town was actually picked from the sea. Hala will see, when we see the Phoenician wall, will understand what's, how did, did they break, break the stones to make these houses. Wow, I mean they're massive. They broke, broke them into pieces and so they can build the old town. So here they're renovating all the houses, right? Some of them are really modern. As you can see like this one, a few different restaurants, and you have older buildings, but all renovated. Not the best time to come. Winter in Batrun, don't suggest it. A lot of places are closed. Most of the restaurants are closed. But some things will be open, right? However, small shops may be closed now. It's at Stefan Church. It's built uh, and designed by an Italian architect. And a lot of uh, people here are named Stefan because, because of this church. And next up, we have the port right in front of us. Small port, a few boats. Most of them are out of the water. Yeah, they're bringing fish from over there. Yeah, this school here in Batroun, before the port, before they built this port, the sea could reach up to up to this school. So you imagine you were studying and you had the waves plucking on your walls. And now they build the port and they brought, bring all the fish and the restaurants here from this port. So most men from Batroun were either fishermen or sponge divers. As you can see over here, we have a lot of diver statues, right? Dedicated to the men from the area because a lot of them lost their lives at sea. And over here we have an oyster seafood bar. Let's go, let's go there. Which way? To this lighthouse. Old lighthouse. Oh, lighthouse. Wow. So now we're gonna cross over to the very end to see the Phoenician walls. Woo! Look at this. Oh, gotta be careful. Oh, super sharp. Don't come here with sandals. You get stuck. You're gonna hurt yourself. These are the same rocks they used to build the old houses in the town. Oh, same exact rocks. 
So right here we have the Phoenician walls. Unfortunately, they blocked it off, so you can't see it up close. You have to climb up to the town, to this church, and from here we're gonna get an epic view. The church that protects all the people who work at the sea. Here you get the Phoenician wall, the massive Phoenician wall. They said they, they took out all the stone from here to the wall, and they built an old town with it. So they kept this wall as a protection from all the enemy. So basically what we were standing on, they carved down and then they made a wall with it, right? So they used the rest of the stones to build all these houses. Wow, massive wall. It looks like I'd say four meters high, something like that, right? Yeah. And you know, you have the waves breaking on it. Right now, winter. Over here we have a few people looking over and this is the church. Church of Lady of the Sea from 1863. And that was the Phoenician walls. Really beautiful, ancient, you have to see that. Now we're gonna walk through the old town to a beach, Basa Beach. Yeah, Basa means pebble. And it's the it's a small pebbles beach located in the middle of Petrun, where people usually come and tan, bring some drinks. Again, this is a summer destination. And this is the beach. As you can see, lots of pebbles. It's really high tide right now in winter. You have a few restaurants here, cafes where you can have a coffee or a drink by the beach. Plenty of them here now. The one thing you guys gotta do when you come to Batroun is have a seafood sandwich. This is in the center of town, it's called George Maruf Seafood and Snack. They have calamar, they have raw fish sandwich, they have fish, they have uh, shrimps. Try the raw fish one. Raw fish it is, let's do it. It's called balamida, it's a uh, red uh, red meat uh, fish. It looks like, uh, like tuna. Yeah, it looks very similar to tuna. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, some soy sauce. Soy sauce, making it a little Japanese, huh? Yeah. That's it. So super simple. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Merci. And I went with the raw fish. Okay. Mm-hmm. Basically sashimi. Mmm. Nice soy sauce. Peter bread. Not hot. Cold. Mmm. It's like a seafood wrap, right? Oh, it's very nice. So you can have many uh, seafood delicacies in a sandwich. So you got shrimp, octopus, squid, and then this raw fish. Amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Basically, you sashimi in a sandwich. So I asked for spice, and they gave me some chilies. All right? So I'm just gonna add a little bit there. Mmm. Mmm. Much better now. Yeah, much better like this. Not too spicy, just right. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Amazing. Mmm. Dude, I can eat one of these every day. Here on the beach, one of these. Maybe two. One calamari. I'm gonna try the calamari. You gonna try the calamari? Yeah, I'm gonna try the calamari. And what is it heating it up with there? Some sauce? Oh, so you're seating up the calamari. Yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. Beautiful. The calamari. Mm. Lime juice, coriander, and olive oil plus salt. Mm -hmm. Some zatar. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, so extra more. Oh yeah, you're gonna toast it. Nice. Nice. So he chops it up in, into like four pieces, yes. right? Okay, so this is easier to share. Chokran, merci. This is you, bro. Give manja, me, manja. Give me my calamari. Mm. Wow, look at that, guys. Beautiful. That looks tasty. Mm. Super tasty. Mm. And it's spicy? Yes. I feel like I should got this one first. <laughs> it's my jam. Mm-hmm. Calamari with spices. Yep. Mmm. Mm. Like the sea. That's when you know it's fresh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fresh from the seas. Have a up there. It's out there. This is the spice. It's the hot calamari. Oh. All the ingredients inside. Plus, I like how they made it a little crispy. They heated up mm. the, the wrap, right? The pita? So I'm gonna keep that last piece for later. So it's 100 total, right? 
So 100 is like five US dollars. Merci. Merci, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I had no idea there was a brewery here in Lebanon. Let's go, it's gonna be good. I need a good ale. <laughs> Craft beer in Lebanon plus gin and vodka. Hello. Hello. Dude, it's raining too much. Good What's up, man, David? How are you? Doing good? Pleasure, man. Let's do this. Yeah, so Jamil, so tell me about your brewery and what do you guys do here? Vodka, white rum, and ara. Of course, ara, it's our local uh, uh, alcohol. Mm -hmm. So it's made from uh, alcohol coming from grapes and uh, I had with anise. Anise, it's a botanical ingredient, you know it. Mm -hmm. So we mix them together in the distillery to make our uh, ara and ara goes very very well with our cuisine so people when they eat like lunch Lebanese cuisine uh, ara goes very well especially with the meat and the fish so this is the main building in the brewery right they brew the beer but they also distill the gin the vodka and the ara yeah eight years ago when I opened the brewery and when I started with the beer, the main idea was to give an identity and create uh, an experience at Colonel. So this is how I brought together uh, the sports that I love to the concept and also the eco-friendly aspects. So the roof you see here, this is all made from recycled plastic bags and all the wood in the structure is made from uh, shipping wood pallets. And also all the machines that we boil with all are made with condensers we collect water and we uh, we replant like we plant all the plants uh, all over the concept that you see outside as well also we are i'm i'm on the way hopefully to make the brewery a zero waste brewery we saw the brewery now let's go try some beers yep wow look at these boards they have long boards here and the bar is by the water let's get there you got that juice Hello. Hi. All right. Beautiful. My friend, cheers, 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 cheers. cheers, 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 cheers. cheers. And this is the unfiltered lager. Smooth. Mmm, ice cold. I love it. For me, unfiltered, way better. Always. Always, right? Cheers. Here, one more time, my man. Thank you so much. See, with the lagers, you can just drink it all day. All brewers like lagers because they can continue, right? With the ales, it gets a little tough. Yes, a bit more tough. <laughs> a bit more tough. Next up, we're gonna do the passion fruit beer. So the passion fruit beer is basically the lager, but they put passion fruit syrup on top. Okay, that's unique, it's different. I love it. Passion fruit lager. Mmm, nice. Yeah. It's very nice. <laughs> Summerish. <laughs> Summerish, exactly. I mean, with the, you know, with the sun, with the beach, out there having some fish, this would be great. Yeah. Dude, I'm dreaming of it. So I have to come back here, what, July? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Enough of the beer. Let's have a little bit of vodka. <laughs> wow. So this is their vodka mm. with a little twist, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I love about the gin? The smell. Botanicals. Yeah, botanicals, right? So many botanicals. Feels very herbal. Ten different Lebanese botanicals. I wanted to give it an identity, Lebanese identity. So got that gin. I, after like a search and ex like experience and searching what can we use from our botanical ingredients, I picked ten local botanical ingredients. If you live in Batroun, you'll be happy. Exactly. <laughs> I'll tell you, this is probably my favorite gin ever. It's this amazing. Is, this is my favorite gin. So juniper is what makes gin, but then they added so many different things. You got coriander, cardamom, you got lemon, verana, fennel seeds, lavender, mint, lemon. So good. And the final thing to try is Arak. <laughs> This ara is a real Lebanese ara, handmade Lebanese ara. You can't really find it. It's like you're making it at home with 100% alcohol from grapes and 100% fresh anise. This is our ara. We call it. I love ara. To be honest, this is one of my favorite drinks ever. 
Mmm. Mmm. Good here. So Amazing. milky. Wow. Delicious. Oh, wow. This is super smooth. Mmm. Sincy. Mm -hmm. Not strong. Mm. And then if you want, you can buy it in the liter. Wow, what a beautiful bottle. Look at that. I love this guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this guy right here. <laughs> it's good. It's like amazing, Arak. I love Colonel. Colonel, the Colonel. Colonel Brewery, incredible, right here on the beach. They also have food, so we're staying for dinner, having some drinks, relaxing. It's a really rainy day. So we're just gonna chill, hang out. We went to the Airbnb nearby, so this is very, very convenient for us. All right, we're going inside. Rita, take me to the back. <laughs> you guys doing good? So what are we doing tonight? Everything. Okay, so you're having mutapad, fish kepe, uh, shrimp rolls, dajan, and uh, that's it, I think. Okay. And uh, I hear the rain. The rain <laughs> is intense today. It's been a super wet day. And that's the fried seafood platter or combo, right? Great. You're like a doctor. <laughs> mm. It smells so good. So good. Just butter, oil, and shrimp. But now he's gonna add some lemon zest, right? Yeah. Lemon. This is Lebanese cuisine. Always some lemon. Oh. It's heaven, guys. The garlic hits you. Oh, so pungent. It's like so good. I mean, it's like smoking here. <laughs> Next up, the fish. The no. Tajin. The tajin. Tajin. What's the tajin? It's a uh, fish with cooked with uh, tahini, garlic, uh, what's the onion, and I think that's it. Like a fish. Um, fish tajin. A fish tajin. Yeah, but I, for me, it's like more like a fish dip, you know? Yeah. It's not cooked with the bread. No, no, no of course. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's like almost like a fish dip. Yeah. Daje. Daje. Oh my gosh. It looks amazing. Super hot. Delicious. Super delicious. Yes, sir. Let's do it. You're welcome. My man. My man. Bam. Bam. Let's go. Let's go. I'm hungry. I'm starving, man. Me too. <laughs> All right, guys. We are ready to go. This is going to be amazing. We just saw how they made four different things. Well, this is a platter. Over here we have the garlic shrimp, just amazing. The lionfish um, with cream. Tahini. Tahini. Mm. Tahini. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is the, the eggplant, right? Yeah, garlic, uh, lemon juice. The eggplant actually is, gri uh, is uh, you know, they grill it, and mm -hmm. then they mix it with tahini. Yeah, they puree it, basically, right? Yeah, like a mutabal. I think we should start with one of these, right? Yeah. Wow, mm. okay. The calamari, maybe. The calamari. And we have four different dips. Yeah. Whatever you want, man. You go with a sweet one. Yeah, the sweet and sour, right? Mm. Sweet, sweet chili. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. The chili is amazing. Chili is amazing. Not too fried. Mm. Fresh calamari. The water is right there. Mm hmm. Mm. Keep going, but you know I want to try this one. I've never had seafood or fish kibe in my life until I got to Lebanon. Bravo. Mmm. What I love about this is that if you are here drinking, this is straight up bar food. Fried with drink. Perfect. Oh. Wow. Wow. Trying this one next. Shrimp. shrimp. Mm -hmm. Latin shrimp. I mean, which one? This one. Tartar sauce? Yeah. Sweet chili. Or sweet chili. Is this tartar? No, it's like a mayo. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Nice and crunchy. Yep. Looks amazing. Mmm. 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 Sweet chili sauce every day. Whoa. I feel good. good. Shrimp rolls? Shrimp rolls. Shrimp rolls right here. So basically just dough and shrimp. And just dip into one of these. Yep. Which one? Hey, barbecue? Barbecue, good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, love it. Lightly fried. Got onions in there. 
Barbecue sauce is amazing. Mm hmm. Love these barbecue, huh? Savory. Savory umami. Wow. Zesty. Damn, <laughs> my boy, he doesn't stop. He's a hungry hippo. Mmm. <laughs> now it's one. So much garlic. So good. Right, my turn, guys. Just toss it in right like that. Got a big chunk. Lionfish. Mmm. I love lionfish. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Again. The lemon. The lemon, the pita. Mm. The almonds. Everything. Combination. Everything. Textures, flavors. This is lemon. This is lemon right here. Mm. <laughs> the last thing we're trying is the thing we should have tried first. <laughs> yeah, you, you start with this one. You oh. start with the dips. Oh, bro. I beat you to the it. The mutabal or baba ganoush. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's not baba ganoush. That's mutabal. Who cares? Just eat. I mean, wow. There's a slight difference between them. Slight difference, right? No, oh, last bite. This is filling me up. Mm. That's bathroom. Yeah. Lemonade Museum. Venetian walls. Old town. Old town. Seafood sandwiches. Seafood maze. Mm hmm. The Bars. Brewery. Brewery. Gin. Beer. You have to come out here. We're only one hour north of Beirut. Come in June, July. This is a different place. Totally different. We'll have a party right downstairs. In June, July. Another video, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in Tripoli. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, oh man. Rita, call my Uber.